The painting Praying Arab dates from 1945 during Irma Stern's second visit to Zanzibar. The period between 1939 and the time this artwork was created is considered to be the master's height of her skill. Works from the Zanzibar era in carved wooden frames commissioned by the artist herself are highly sought after. Experts say this period is the culmination of her experience, technique and subject matter mastery. The rich tapestry of colour, the observation in the hands, in the face, in the facets, in the uh, sculpting of the, the facial or hand features, the, the reverence of the man as he looks towards his fingers with his prayer beads. Um, there's, a, there's a wonderful interaction between the artist and the sitter. Stern painted her subjects in person using quick brush strokes as with praying Arab, she attempted to capture the moment in time with light, dark and colour. It contributes to the vibrancy of the work 78 years after it was created. Trained in the style of German Expressionism, Stern made the style her own and used it to great international acclaim in the African context. Then you have a mature work of which the Zanzibar series is um, emblematic and then her later work subsequent to 1948. So she's, she was very contemporary in her day. She was a groundbreaker in terms of being a woman artist. She was courageous. She traveled to far and distant places to, to record the people and the places with her beautiful special brand of uh, expressionist art. Three other stern works are also on display before the auction. Strauss and Co. selected works from the last hundred years, depicting a vast array of styles and approaches by South African artists. The public is invited to visit Brickfield Canvas Studio in Woodstock, free of charge, to see Praying Arab and other astonishing artworks. It's fabulous to have so many exciting artworks coming to market because they are very rare to come to market. I mean, families hold on to their gems um, every 25, 30 years. I mean, you don't know when you're going to see that artwork again. Mm -hmm. And that you can say that for a lot of the works on this sale. They'll be, I mean, you might be able to see them again in a museum, hopefully. But if not, it'll go into a private collection and might be loaned to exhibitions. But this is a great opportunity to see works like this up close and personal at no cost. South African art is becoming more sought after internationally, selling well abroad. The auction of Praying Arab and other works will take place next Tuesday. A pre-sale estimate of the artwork is set at between 16 and 18 million rand. Mariska Boerta, ABC News, Cape Town.